I like this one. <laughs> uh, AJ, Gray, Eyes and Evens. This how we gonna do this one, all right? Look, vibe, listen, uh. I was shine bright, but I drain it all of my energy. Claiming that you were friend of me with the traits of an enemy. You got the traits of a traitor. Only time I'm your bro is when you need a favor. You a whole hate like a whole brother. Welcome back to the Gaming Pulpit. This is your host, JD. And we have a lot to talk about. Spanning from, you know, cloud worries. People that are worried about cloud, um, uh, cloud gaming. Um, we're talking about there's news about the backwards compatibility being important um, and then there's a state of play rumor too supposedly it's going to be tomorrow um, I guess to coincide with uh, the Death Stranding new trailer that's coming out here so and you know what I want to say this too I want to probably throw this in at the at the end of the video here uh, regarding um, Red Dead Redemption but anyway, let's actually talk about the state of play. So there's been rumors about a state of play actually being released. I believe this is all getting mashed together because of a Death Stranding teaser that's supposed to be, or that was released. It was a recent tweet teaser. It looks like some hands on the screen and and through the hands there's some sort of image or a portal or whatever the fuck you call it. You can go on Twitter or you can look that shit up, Death Stranding. Um, but there's going to be a, uh, an actual trailer that is going to be uh, released tomorrow. Um, and people think that this is to coincide with um, E3, the lack of E3 from Sony. Um, also, there's supposed to be, uh, at least rumor-based, it's supposed to be a new trailer for uh, The Last of Us um, Part 2 along with its release date being 2019. Now, I want to say that I do believe that it's going to come out in 2019 i don't know about uh days not days going um uh death stranding i'm not exactly sure what's going on with that um it, we just don't know too much about it i don't know if it's going to be released this year but i can tell you this i don't think that there's a state of play coming out tomorrow i, I doubt it i doubt it i think we're going to get the trailer i think uh sony is going to go you know uh forward with the plan of Allowing everybody to do their E3 shit. And then they just drop their fucking bombs. Which is going to be the release date of uh, The Last of Us Part 2. Um, maybe a reiteration of um, um, Death Stranding. You know, more, probably more information and stuff like that. Uh, I'm hearing too that the, the game Wild. There's supposed to be some kind of RPG. That's actually, you know... Um, supposedly getting new artwork which is strange because that game has been um rumored to come out this generation and has not and this is pretty much the end of it <clears throat> likewise um the second thing i do want to talk about if i could just pull this shit up cause that's what it basically is people think that the state of play is going to be re released tomorrow i'm talking about the last of us and death stranding i don't think it is you're going to get the death stranding trailer and call it a day I think they are deliberately like drip feeding you. You know what I'm saying? And, ooh, it's thundering out there. That's crazy. Um, but they're they're drip feeding everything. That's what they're pretty much doing. And you can't be mad at them for that. The second thing is actually fear of the cloud. There is a lot of fear going on regarding people thinking that the cloud is going to take over. No one knows why Sony is going so hard body on this cloud and everything like that. And I, I do have a, uh, I do visit a podcast, the Roundtable Podcast, and we talk about these things. And honestly, somebody brought up a really good uh, uh, a statement regarding the cloud. This, to me, is just reassurance, not reassurance, how can I put this? It's basically, from what I can see what Sony is doing, they're just, wanna, they want to make sure they're on top of their game, and that's it. They want to make sure that they're not last to the party. They want to make sure that, you know, they can capitalize on these things. And that's pretty much it. We know that hardware is pretty serious for them. And actually, Ryan from Sony has stated, you know, recently in an interview that, you know, people really want a more stable, you know, 
uh, environment when it comes to people like actual like developers and the customers want a more stable environment rather than one that is ever changing so this hardware is basically the bread and butter for this thing you know is first of all it costs too much damn money to even keep up with these things they would have to capitalize on the two billion gamers in the world um, to, to make a decent profit keeping these servers up and running and all these like you know uh, server blades that are running PS5 and stuff like that and then the refrigeration and then the power is too much fucking money and you got licensing issues or licensing you have to pay I mean, I understand that people think that it's going to be the whole Netflix of everything, but no, I don't. I don't think that this that's that's not what's going on here. I think they just want to be on top of the game. They want to make sure that they're not in a position where somebody can overtake them. You got to understand that Sony has dealt with this shit before when it came to the Walkman, and you know you got to look at Blockbuster. Blockbuster had the opportunity to buy um, Netflix, and they didn't for stupid reasons like that you know um myspace that old ass social media um website had the opportunity to buy um uh what do you call it facebook and failed to do that and we all know the story between those two but speaking of which ryan also stated that he knows that backwards compatibility is important now he mentions he don't want to leave the ps4 behind but Everybody wants to know what are you going to do with the PlayStation 2 and 3 and 1? What are you going to do with those? Please, for the love of God, allow us to play these games. I, I'm hearing there's a lot of complaints with the PlayStation Plus um, games. You know what I mean? I'm hearing that there's a lot of complaints. If you go into uh, Sony's official website, you see uh, it's extremely disproportionate like the dislike. I mean, we're not talking about. 2,000 likes and 4,000 dislikes. We're talking about fucking 1,000 likes to 20,000 dislikes. So there is a reason people are not liking it. That's just the bottom line. They don't want it. They don't want it. And or they don't like what's going on. So it's either people don't want to pay online, which is you know more than likely, or they're looking for the Netflix of gaming, and from what I can hear, you know, when you when you when you do searches on these things, people are like, "Listen, um, these games already have these games. So you're offering me these games, so like I'm only getting half of the, you know, uh, benefits of PlayStation Plus." So at first it was like indie games, and now it's not really indie games. Is what people, you know, already have, and you know what? Another thing too. The quality of gaming this generation isn't the same quality. So even if Sony were to go hard body on this shit, I mean, would you want Anthem? Because Anthem is definitely unfinished. Destiny was unfinished. Like, there's a lot of unfinished games. And no, I'm not kind of taking. I'm not taking up for Sony and their games. I, I mean, honestly, I don't utilize the PlayStation Plus. I don't utilize it because I, I like to own my games. And to me, that looks sketchy as fuck to say that oh the second you download it that's part of your history you will have them forever i feel like that whole forever thing i learned not to believe in forever the forever thing is bullshit so that's why i'm not really thinking too deeply on that but i mean there's there's a lot of issues with licensing in general and it's expensive and you know it, and for any company they don't want to fucking do this whole licensing thing it's it's, it's it is expensive it's expensive super fucking expensive but it begs the question since the ps5 will be backwards compatible you will only get two games they already discontinued the, the the vita the playstation portable and the ps3 so that means that you're going to have the ps4 games and the ps5 games which means it will be four of them that will be available to you so i'm curious to see how they're going to actually work that shit out i don't know we don't really know. I mean, I know that they're going to go hard body on the, you know, social aspects and stuff like that. You know, immediacy is something that that is, you know, um, something that people are like really, or Sony is actually really, you know, heavily into the immediacy, no loading, you know, and things of that nature. So we don't know what they have in store, but I do know, you know, it'll be cool. Like I'm thinking too. 
if they do allow for backwards compatibility, I don't think too many people would complain if they allow for PlayStation 3, 2, and 1 games to be a part of, you know, the PlayStation Plus. Because you do get, like, some really decent discounts regarding it. I, I know Mystic, he's one of the uh, bigger YouTube uh, channels. He, he had this video, basically. Um, and he typically complains about a lot of this shit, you know what I mean? He tries to go the route of, you know... Um, you know, anti-consumer, bad, bad company, anti-consumer, I guess, for views. I don't know what he's fucking doing. I mean, anybody knows if you are a company, you definitely want the profits. I get it. You know what I'm saying? And then working with these greedy ass fucking people, it's hard. It's hard with these games and licensing, you know, so you should know that, you know, he, you know, Sony did expand the space for the cloud gaming. I'm sorry, the cloud, the cloud storage. Um, and I just think that the quality of the games is we don't it's there's no quality you know the quality is just not there and you can't expect Sony to day and date fucking The Last of Us Part Two for PlayStation Plus you know that's that's not going to happen just because you you know Sony got you to buy these games it's not their fault either that you bought these purchases or you bought these games as well and then they released it it's not for you. But it would be cool if they had some backwards compatibility, you know, games that they've released and stuff like that. I would fucking download these games. I would. And probably purchase them. So it's going it's to be curious to see how the cloud gaming is going to integrate with, you know, these, the, the you know, PlayStation Plus. But I think it's going to be a lapse in between the two services. That's what I believe. You know. Um, so let me take a look here to see what else we got. Uh, going back to the cloud gaming, I want to say this too. I thought about this long and hard regarding cloud gaming. And convenience is one of the things that, you know, all companies chase. And it's what consumers chase as well. But there is something about the hardcore, the hardcore crew that won't go away. You look at PC gaming, most of the PCs that are being purchased are fucking... Chromecast books and things of that nature, but that's not where the money is coming from. The money is coming from these crazy overpriced GPUs and these crazy overpriced CPUs. It's the hardcore crowd that is actually generating the money that they're getting. You know what I mean? So I don't think hardcore is going to wear or going anywhere anytime soon. You know, I think Sony knows to cater to the hardcore because the hardcore can work as a translator to the the casual you know what I mean so if the hardcore isn't really about the whole cloud gaming then I don't think anybody else would be either to be perfectly honest with you I don't I really don't I think the cloud gaming is for people as a gateway drug to be honest with you just to you know get people into hardcore gaming but I think the demographics are completely different I, I likened this on the podcast, one of the podcasts that I visit, um, to there's different kind of vehicles. There's people that like SUVs. There are people that like sports cars. There are people that like economy cars. I mean, con- a person that likes economy cars, they're not going to get a sports car at all. It goes against everything that they, they, that they want the, the car for. And I think that the industry, even though it's all automobile industry, there's different classes to it, you know what I mean? And I think that's how that's how the gaming industry is. You got your cell phone gamers, you got your casual gamers, you got your hardcore gamers, and they usually are not going to be, they're not going to lapse over each other, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just not, it's not one of those things that, you, you know, you can have a, a, a melting in between um, uh, different... Um, different areas like that I mean perfectly honest with you let's let's be real I mentioned this as well in this podcast that the gaming industry for consoles they it hasn't grown you still have about if anything it's shrunk a little bit because you had the PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 2 that was at 155 million the Xbox that was just at 20 million you know what I mean the GameCube was just at 20 million being you know just kind of estimating and you had 200 million gamers essentially that games and last generation you had 90 million and then you had 
um, a 90 million for the Wii U and 80 million per like Xbox 360 and the uh, I guess it grew a little bit but that's the Wii was an inflation a, a weird anomaly that's why it, we were losing money last generation versus this one but it's not growing and I think that these companies want it to grow they wanted to grow bigger and cloud gaming is going to add the convenience for it to be bigger you know what I mean that's what I think is really going on here um, so again just to recap on this it's like hardcore games gamers are not going anywhere hardcore consoles are not going anywhere the cloud is a supplement for these games or for the industry that's what it's boiled that's what it boils down to it, it boils down to just that um, so I wouldn't be afraid of that shit either. I, I mean, I wouldn't be. I, at first, I was kind of nervous, but I wouldn't be afraid of it. Um, to wrap up this video, I know we're like 16 minutes into this bitch. There are a lot of problems. I know that uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, it came out of its beta in terms of the multiplayer. And you would think that, okay, it's out of its beta. They must have like ironed out every fucking problem that they had before. Nope. It's still fucked up. Still disappearing NPCs. Still frame rate issues, still fucked up lighting, still mission issues. You know what I mean? It's still fucked up. You know what I mean? And, and it's the funny thing is this: the game got a perfect score, and people can say that. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm not here for the multiplayer or whatever the case is. It's still part of the game, and it's still fucked up. I don't get that Rockstar like they get a pass at fucked up controls, and bugs. And shoddy story to me. The storyline is not that good, especially if you're a movie buff. You probably seen Tombstone, and you know what I mean. And you already know what's really going on. So to me, nope, I'm not feeling it. It's fuck out of here, Rockstar. Um, I have to see how Grand Theft Auto, you know, Grand Theft Auto Six is going to do, because I'm I'm done with Rockstar games. To be honest with you. But that's all I have. I think I said everything that I needed to say there. We'll see how Death Stranding is going to be. I would say or speculate what Death Stranding is going to be. But, you know, that would be an, an idiotic thing to do. There's no way I could speculate what the fuck that's going to do. Or what, what kind of game that's going to be. But I'm excited for it. And I'm also excited for it being on a decimal engine. One of the most beautiful, capable engines you can get on the market. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you disliked or liked about the video. And if you liked it, you sub be appreciated. Peace.